Hello and welcome to episode 26 of Unknown to World Known. We're back with Lincoln City and we have been in some bad form since the last episode when we lost to Manchester United. We beat Wrexham 2-1 and since then we've only won one game against Mansfield. We've lost one, only two games been losses but just drawing far too many. We are out of the EFL trophy so what we're going to do today is we're going to do Gloucester in the FA Cup and then South End in the league because there's no point in showing you the EFL trophy when we're already out of it. So we'll be back with the Gloucester game in a moment. We're going today with a lineup of Ruddy in goal, Noyle returns from injury, Ling, Hockenhull, Ruffin, Whitaker, Carroll, Savage, and Norris, and then Wilson and Scully up front. Did I just read that right? John Moussinho. I honestly read that as Jose Mourinho then. That would have been a bit of a shock. So we're off for the first half. We're away from home in this game and we're trying something a little bit different. We've gone with the wing play again, but with a few changes added in to try and improve our form as the ball goes in towards Whitaker, who puts us one that up and hopefully that can be a theme of today if we can put a few past Gloucester we can hopefully build a bit of momentum build a bit of confidence back in the team what a cross from Ruffin this is from deep oh no from Norris even and Whitaker just completely unmarked in the box with a brilliant head into the top corner and now Thompson plays it out to Freestone and they're going to clear it upfield. Ling intercepts it and sends it through for Wilson, who probably should have done better. Whitaker has a brilliant shot that the keeper has to punch away. And it's cleared out as far as Hockenhall. Ruffin now going to try and look and put a cross in. And he does so, and Whitley's there just before Wilson can get on the end of that one. And now up the, they try and clear it back, but we send it straight back at them. And it's through to Ruffin again who avoids the tackle, plays it off for Norris, cross comes in, Wilson, fantastic block on the line, and there's a couple of shots from Savage there as well. We don't quite manage to get it through. Lots of momentum in our favour early on. As we now have a free kick, Carroll is going to whip this one in, and he sends it towards the far post, where Savage has a free header. And they... Boot it long and Ruddy's just going to collect that nice and easy and start to make our way back up the pitch. Norris into Hockenhall and it goes back to Ruddy again now who finds Ling and clears it up towards Scully. It's intercepted by Hope and Bergvers and they're looking for a ball forward. Ling heads away as far as Muckadum. Bergeris now through for through and it's 1-1 and that's the opposite of what I was saying we wanted. We don't want another game where we drop in silly results. This is our problem at the moment. We just we seem to just be all all out of sorts. We haven't been able to get going at all recently. And now they've got a free kick just outside the area. It's towards the far post and Thompson heads just over the bar. Probably should have got a goal, and that's very concerning for us. We're going to bring Norris off at half-time for Archibald. We're going to tell them, uh, not happy. We're playing a team from the Vanarama North Division. We need to be doing better than 1-1 one, one at half-time, and... They're basically level with us on XG as well. It's not not good enough at the minute from this Lincoln side. And the way it's going, we need some need to be looking for some changes. Wilson with a bit of a lucky ball there. But very poor finish. We're gonna send Robertson on as well, I think. No. We've got nobody that can really play that role up front. I think what we're gonna do is send hands on as a false nine. Just because Wilson's got a knock and now Archibald's coming off as well. 
So Sean Robertson's going to have to come on on the left-hand side. And I'm getting very worried we might be dropping out of the cup the way this is going. And we really can't afford that. We need some momentum to start building a as soon as possible. And this is not how we're going to do it through... Hock and Hall just makes a massive mistake and Bergeris with a great chance of Ruddy really having to keep us in the game there. Ball over the top towards Scully who does finish and puts us 2-1 up. Putting us back in the lead in the tie and hopefully we can actually hold on this time because oh, it's not been fun. The, the, since the last episode it has been a whole lot of not fun. Throwing Carroll takes it and plays it between him and Savage a little bit. And now Whitaker, Scully, and Hands from range into the bottom corner. Very nice finish from Hands there. And maybe, just maybe, his position should be more up front instead of on the wing. But I'm also not sure about that given the strikes we've got. With Vic Pizu, Wilson and Scully probably being some of the best forwards we've got going. I think Hans would struggle to replace any of them really at the moment. Why is the referee said all the... That's the goalkeeper. That's the referee. Ball over towards Hans again and it, the tackle breaks to Scully who buries it into the bottom corner. 4-1. This does flatter us a little bit. But if it builds a bit of momentum, then we'll take it every day of the week the way we've been. Fantastic finish from Scully, in fairness to him. And in the second half, we have improved, but maybe not 4-1 improved. As they look to bring the ball out from the back, it might be, looking at this, they might be kind of accepting... The game's over. Whitaker on the ball now and plays it back to Noyle, who looks over the top. That's something I would have really liked. Noyle, I did not want to play the full game, but due to injuries, we've kind of had to. And Ruddy making a good save at towards the end of the game. And the corner coming to nothing as we have a goal kick. That's gone up towards Scully, who has space in behind. And plays it to Ruffin, whose cross gets blocked and it's out for a corner. And now we're in the final 15 seconds as this corner comes in from Carroll towards the near post, towards the far post. And Hans was there, but doesn't manage to do anything with it. And now Mukadam, Mas Van Hees, and it's full time 4 1. As I say, I think it looked a bit better than it actually was. But because we're trying to build a bit of momentum, we're just going to tell them how happy we are. We need to build the morale back up. So complimenting the win that we should be getting is what we're going to have to do. And hopefully we can try and turn this around a bit. Archibald's going to be out for a few weeks. Wilson's out for a couple of days. That's fine. And Scully impressing... Uh, I forgot to mention, we're 10th in the table at the moment. However, very close to everyone except crew still. So I think we're fine where we are. We can still very easily get back in the promotion and playoff talk if we can turn our momentum around. We'll be back with the self end game. Okay, so we're back now for the game against Southend. In between, we did lose to Scunthorpe 1-0, but it was a very rotated team. And also we have drawn Stockport County in the second round of the FA Cup. So they are also in League 2 with us. However, they are towards the bottom half. They're in 20th, so in theory a favourable draw. So hopefully we'll be able to get through that. Before that, however, we have in goal Jack Ruddy. A back four of Smith, Sitanovic, Soska and Ruffin. 
Midfield are Ford, Lindo, Carroll and Norris. And up front we've gone with Wilson and Scully with Ikpizu away on international duty, unfortunately. Um, so at the moment we're without him. Although if the game against Gloucester is anything to go by, Wilson and Scully might be a decent partnership. Uh, Smith whips the ball in Norris with a goal within 15 seconds to put us 1-0 up away to self end and that is a fantastic start for us when recently it's been a lot more of the opposite we've been the ones having to get back into games fantastic header from Norris into the bottom corner so a good start and now why is Norris on as a Inside forward, he's meant to be on as a winger. We've got an injury to Lindo. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to make Savage come on and swap those two around. Savage can sit as the playmaker with Carroll as the ball-winning midfielder. And hopefully we won't have Lindo out for too long. Carroll with the f corner, Williamson heads away, but Norris is there to collect it quite nicely. He attempts to get the ball back in, but it's easily blocked. Ruffin intercepts there, ball forward, and Ford. Now Smith on the overlap, and he does find Smith, who whips the ball in, and Truman, the goalkeeper, just punches it away, and Ruffin collects the clearance eventually. And now Savage tries to find Wilson, but it's cleared away again. Sitanovic looking for Wilson now. There's a lot of just lumping it forward at the moment from both teams as their left back now looks to work his way down the wing. He's past Ford and the cross comes in towards right and it's into the bottom corner. And that is so, so frustrating. And now we've got to try and get back into the lead in this game. Sitanovic, Suska playing it out to Ford. I'm not actually sure where Southend are in the league going into this game. Last season they were uh, in the playoffs. Savage looking for Ford but doesn't find him. And Smith now launching it forward towards Wilson and... Ruffin collects now and he finds Scully who absolutely buries it. Fantastic finish. We're going to drop down slightly less direct because it's a bit too much of the constant long balls, isn't it? Ruffin played it through for Scully who finishes nicely but out of interest, their striker... Uh, he's six foot two. Okay, so we need to be aware of the aerial threat of him, and make sure that Soska and Sitanovic are able to deal with him. And at half time, we find ourselves two one up. So we're gonna tell them not to get complacent, but tell them that they've been good so far. And Southend are actually in the relegation zone if we beat them here with Grims Grimsby. Well, I imagine Grimsby are probably drawing at the moment. But there's the potential there for Southend to drop into the relegation zone, which is quite shocking because I'm sure they were in the player final last year. Then again, who am I to talk? We we had a run of form losing two games after, from January onwards. And then this season, what's happened to that? We're going to send Peter hands on. I think what we're going to try, a bit unusual, we're going to try Wilson on the right-hand side and then hands as the strike, as the striker, just to see if that uh, comes to anything. Smith throwing it into hands and he plays it back to Carroll, who finds Smith in space, ball in towards Scully, who puts his 3-1 up. And we're also going to get Sutton on for 
Carroll as he's a bit knackered at the moment. Hans made the exchange with Carroll who finds Smith, nobody tracking him, the ball in and Scully with a fantastic finish to put us 3-1 up. We've been very efficient today, only four shots on target up until that point and three goals. So very good performance today and hopefully this will be the start of another run of form where we're actually playing well as Press plays it to Prince who sends it out to Ambiobi and the ball in to the forwards the far post what a save from Ruddy there and Broadbent now picking it up Prince and Lewis ends up heading it over the bar we're going to go defensive just for the last couple minutes and we have made it to the full time whistle with a 3-1 win we're going to tell them well done for that after the form that we've had, that's an important win. Why are we getting told about Norway versus Germany? That's probably the weirdest one that I've had pop up there. That's very strange. But nevertheless, that puts us level on points with Port Vale, in, who are just inside the playoffs. We're only four points behind second place, so there is, despite the poor form that we've had, we're still very much in a position where we can push on now. And hopefully this is the start of us pushing on. What I think we'll do, actually, we'll we'll come back um, for Grimsby and Stockport. Because Grimsby are one of our fierce rivals. So we haven't played them yet on camera. So we'll play Grimsby and Stockport next. And then after that, we'll then skip through to January. Hopefully with a third round draw. If not, we'll just skip through to January anyway. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like, comment down below how you think we're going to get on and we're going to have a bit of a cup run and do subscribe as well if you are enjoying the series. Thank you very much for watching.